Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, Bam Autobayou, and Pell Larson speaks after the Miami Heat lost to the Sacramento Kings. Check out the video. I think it's, uh, you know, coming out the half stronger. Um, obviously, it's been a trend now um, for the first five or six games. So just finding ways to be motivated to come out in the second half and um, just got to start better. I, th I actually think it's, it's flipped the other way in the sense that when we ain't making shots, that's normally when teams start to go and run. We don't get back. Uh, we, don't, we don't defensive rebound. Um, it, it, it is a defensive thing, but it, for us, it's, it's more offense. When we don't see that ball going through that basket, I think that mentally we have to be stronger and tougher to still get stops, and I think that's the main problem. That's what you see in third quarter. Uh, Tyler, just in terms of now you're heading into a six-game uh, road trip now is it important to have short-term memory from a game like this or is it important to look at the flaws from this game and try to improve off of it uh, I mean we can always take something from a game like this um, but definitely have to you know move on to the next game we leave a mile for a, you know like you said a six game road trip um, and it's an important one early in the season we got to get some wins on the road yeah he, he began to it at the he's, he's comfortable he shoots the ball when he's open uh, he can the ball on floor, get to the basket, get fouled, and he also makes the right play. Uh, and the more reps that he get out there in the game, the more comfortable and the more confident that he will become. You know, he, he's going to be good. I think he's on his roster for a reason. Actually, I know he's on his roster for a reason. And you know, I just want him to keep doing what he's doing. I mean, we just got to figure out our third quarter, man. Um, that's, that's really been the deciding factors in a lot of our games this year. Bam, now obviously going into a six-game road trip, is, is it important to have short-term memory from this loss, or is it important to kind of look from it, like you said, the third quarter and, and try to improve off of it? Uh, both. Short-term memory, short memory, but also because uh, we got to move on to the next game. But just remember that we emphasize these third quarters. We have to get off to a great start. Man, I, I know it's a loss, but obviously at, at, at halftime, being with your, with your mom and, and being with Spo and for, for that moment, can you just kind of go, go through that moment and, and talk about it? Uh, man, I mean, great moment for all of us, obviously. Me and my mom have been through a lot. Um, so just, just being able to have those moments, being able to have her there. Uh, I remember when I was younger and her job used to make her pick between coming to my games or, or, uh, or her job. So... It's great that we can have those moments now with no ultimatums. And then, you know, like I said for Spo before, uh, it's great that we had a moment that wasn't in the Heat jersey. Um, you know, being able to fight for your country is something special. And to do that with my coaches uh, is, is something that we'll never forget. Um, every time I see them, we'll be able to share that moment. You get extended minutes to be in there at the end of the game and to have the performance that you had tonight even if it came in a loss. I mean, how much does this do for your confidence going forward? Um, yeah, it's good. We go on the road. Um, maybe I can make some good, more good performances. What is it about your game and, and your experience thus far um, headed into your rookie season that allows you to feel so comfortable and confident playing with this group, you know, late in the games? I mean, when you play with guys like this you pretty much have a shot I get is open shot so I've been practicing that for a while now so tell you had spoke to us you was in balance on that last play what were you looking for in that set and what did they kind of cut off I just you know to get an advantage and uh, I hit either you know give me a bam but uh, there was wide open but I should have called timeout I had another one I had timeout to uh, get a second look at it. Uh, we saw in summer league and in your college career, those like in between plays, the hustle plays. Did the speed feel any different at all? You know, out there in those kinds of moments, we still saw that at the level tonight. Did what? The speed? Just the speed, the hustle plays that you're making, the tip balls. Um, I mean, I got pretty used to it now. I think I look back at you know my old team playing and they're playing right now actually and. It's just completely different level, you know, so, but I feel like I'm getting used to it. When you talk about a different level, I mean, the games just keep coming at you in this league. You know, you have a six game trip out for a couple of weeks. Are you getting used to this rhythm or is this something that's still going to take a bit of an adjustment playing games so frequently and so often? I mean, it's still very early. Uh, we haven't had a long trip like this with a lot of games. Um, 
but we got great recovery staff, so just keep working with them. Uh, Lamar's DeRozan's one of the craftier offensive players of his generation. What, what are you? What were you trying to take away when you were guarding him tonight? The foul, the whistle. <laughs> I don't know from the ref. It's hard. Like, you kind of have to let him shoot over you because you can't uh, react to anything because then it's automatic foul. Because he's really crafty like that. So, really, just stay in front, stay down, second off the floor. That's all you can do. What in your mind has helped you earn Spo's trust? Oh, uh, just play like I did today, you know, play hard on both ends and, um, you know, try to be the one that uh, stays solid, doesn't get back up too much. And a few times in Mexico that uh, I kind of fell asleep on defense. So he gave me a second chance today and I made adjustment and then it helps when you knock down shots. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, there was a scrum. I mean, with, um, you know, Pella stayed in front of Fox, uh, forced him to spin, and Jimmy, you know, flew out of nowhere uh, to be able to get that contest uh, to make it just a little bit tougher uh, of a pull-up. You know, Fox is fully capable of making those kind of shots, particularly at the end of games. Um, so I think Jimmy just got him to, you know, to see something uh, different. And it was off. I mean, um, you know, and then it was. Uh, Scrum. Terry jumped as high as he possibly could. I think uh, Sabonis, you know, did a, a shove, which you're not going to call at that point in, uh, in the game, and we just couldn't come up with a rebound. Couldn't, couldn't secure it. Couldn't knock it away. Couldn't like tip it out of, you know, his hands, or just uh, all that. All it would have taken is a tip, you know, somewhere else, uh, and we secure, secure the win. I mean, it's, it's unfortunate. It's a tough loss uh, because we showed the resolve. You know, we had another one of those third quarters. Uh, it went the other way in the third, but I thought we showed some great uh, toughness uh, in the fourth quarter to climb back into it, take the lead, and, and take control of it. Um, you know, there's a couple of plays, uh, you know, the foul um, on DeRozan's three and, and made that one. Um, a a four-point play on that one, and then Fox's uh, drive, I mean, uh, uh, Monk's drive, we're up three. Um, it's just a, a, a straight line drive. We didn't challenge it, um, and they just kept kept the, you know them in in the game a little bit. Um, I don't know if you've looked at everything. At just some point, you just have to take a stand and just say enough is enough. You know these third quarters. Um, we played a, a great half again. You know, um, you know I, I, I feel like we all played them. You know, in, in those other quarters. Uh, uh, it's just, we're going to have to figure it out. You know, we're going to have to figure it out. Um, you know, it's uh, three straight games. We're going to have to call the first time out. And, and just, you know, it, it takes a little bit of a wind out of your sails. But with that said, still, like, it's not all going to go perfect. Um, I thought we responded much better, you know, in the fourth quarter. And you take the lead, go up, you know, five points, uh, then up three. Uh, you know, you should win those games, um, and we just weren't able to do it. So he's a, a two-way player, um, and even though he's a rookie by NBA standards, you know, he, he has a great deal of, of competitive experience, so he's savvy, you know, he's, he's, he has the toughness uh, that we like. He can guard multiple positions. Uh, everybody feels comfortable with him already, um, and he's spent a whole career, you know, knowing how to fit in offensively on the other end. Um, you know, he did some really good things defensively and um, a lot of these uh, intangible effort plays. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video, Hoop Life Family.